Hey guys, this is Dan the 25 man signing on, and I have a special surprise for all of you. Um, I'm doing a three-part video. Um, I'm doing a layout update, a unboxing, and a comparison video. But before I get to the other things, I want to show you what I got today. It is Bachman Duck, the Great Western Engine. Now I know all of you have seen videos of other YouTubers that have done unboxing videos and comparison videos, but um, I wanted to try one out for myself, and uh, you guys can give me back your feedback, you know, just see how I did. Well, first, I want to say that I have waited so long for this model here in Denver, Colorado. Um, as you know, he was pushed back um, his due date, and he was delayed a lot, but now I got him, and he just looks absolutely amazing, astonishing. Uh, the paint job, his number, number eight, the Great Western Railway logo on his sides, um, the trim, they got all the details right, and his uh, white running board. Um, and I checked to make sure that his his eyes weren't wonky before I got him and that he didn't have scratches on anything, on any parts of his body. So now I'm going to take him out of his box and show you the comparison with the Bachman Duck and the Hornby Duck. Okay guys, so I took Bachman Duck out of his carton and his package over there and what I used was just a simple knife that I found in my garage to open it up um, and I put him side by side now with the Hornby Duck now all of you see my video um, the Hornby Duck that I bought um, and right from the beginning me and Blue Coats Cheesy Poofs acknowledged the fact that because uh, his face was so dark we had to repaint it um, and the first time we did it, which was the first time it was featured in uh, Duck Takes Charge, we didn't like the way it looked, so we redid it, and now this is the final version. And as my own little touch, um, I added, I painted his running board um, with just some white out, you know, because it's permanent and uh, it lasts a long time on it. And um, we painted like this part right here, his uh, uh, his foot plates and stuff, black just like the real duck. Um, and now I'm comparing these two and what surprises me most is that when you put them together like this, um, it seems like the Hornby duck is just a little smaller than the Bachman duck, but um, but they almost look the same size. Uh, they're almost the same size. Um, and the Hornby duck has more detail than the Bachman duck, but uh, I didn't really mind. Uh, I like the Bachman duck just the way it is. Um, and as you can see, the Bachman duck, the Hornby duck actually, sorry, um, has two whistle valves, while the Bachman duck only has one whistle valve, just like the real model. And, um, and as you can see, his running board is white because they had to correct that. I know that. Um, and I wasn't able to like get the uh, the sandbox and his uh, wheel arch black, just like the real one, um, just because I didn't know how, and I wouldn't want to mess anything up on this rare model that I have now. Um, but overall, these two models together, they are really great. And now this one, I have a new addition to my fam to my engine family, as I call it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it I guess uh, these two models together and oh yeah one more thing um, as you can see his number number eight very different than the real number eight as you can see that let me zoom in yeah see his number eight um, but yeah overall I, these two models are terrific and their coal loads look real the Hornby one and the Bachman one um, and I think for Bachman Duck, I'm going to keep his front coupler on for now just because he's still, he's very new to me and I don't want to mess anything up on him right now. Um, but overall, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. And the one last detail is my layout update. Um, as you can see, I've added roadbed and different track now because, look, if you can see right here, this and the EZ track that I used to have. Um, I decided to keep a few easy track pieces for sidings, and now I've just completely transformed this layout to um, to just uh, 
track and roadbed. Um, and as you can see, Napert Station over there. And pretty soon, um, me and Blue Coast Cheesy Poofs have talked about it, and we are, st I think we're still deciding on whether to redo Duck Takes Charge using the Bachman Duck. But I know for a fact that we're going to um, include him in our other new remakes, like Donald's Duck, uh, Escape, Oliver Owns Up, um, Diesel Does It Again. And we'll probably redo uh, the trilogy of Duck 2 when we find the time. Um, but yeah, overall, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm just really, really stunned that I got this Bachman Duck now. It is so amazing. I've waited so long for this. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. And this is Dan the 25 Man signing out. A few days later, when he came home, there was a really rousing welcome for Duck, the great western engine.